You asked a really good question. You mentioned that you've heard that dates can actually help to prepare your cervix and uterus for labor. And if that's true, when should you start eating them and prepping your body for it? Um, there's no hard scientific data that proves that any of that sort of thing is um, valid, like eating a certain thing will help to naturally induce labor. So I wish I could tell you there was a magic pill or something simple you could eat that would help prep your body for labor, but unfortunately there isn't. And ultimately, we'd like your baby to stay in until about 39 weeks. That's when babies do best once they're outside of the womb. So you for sure don't want to do anything to speed up the labor process until then, unless it's medically indicated and your doctor would tell you if that was necessary. Your body actually does do some things to prep itself for labor and delivery. Um, this can happen weeks to days before you actually end up delivering your baby. Your body starts to release hormones called prostaglandins that act on your cervix and it simmers and it, it helps it move forward in your pelvis because it can be way far back, like so far back that if I was checking your cervix, I'd find your tonsils first. But as your cervix starts to ripen, that's the actual medical term we use, um, it starts to move forward in your pelvis. It starts to thin out and also soften in consistency. So you can kind of think of it as being a, a like fruit. Like let's take cantaloupe, for example. A cervix that's not ready for labor is one that's way far back in your pelvis and it's, it's crunchy, bitter, hard, nasty, like a, like a cantaloupe you don't want to eat. But then when your cervix is ready for labor, it's like a soft, succulent, juicy cantaloupe that's moved forward in your pelvis. It's softer in consistency and it's started to thin out. Or another word for the thinning out process is effacement. You might hear your doctor talk about it in terms of percentages. And once your body has done this prep work, it will respond well when your brain starts to release oxytocin. And that's a hormone that acts on your uterus and tells it to contract. And um, if your brain started to release oxytocin before this prep work had happened, your body probably wouldn't respond very well. So once you start having regular contractions, it's time to go to the hospital and see if your cervix is dilating. And that's the true definition of labor. If your cervix is dilating over a period of time, like an hour or so, then you're in active labor and it's time to have a baby. So the only way to know if it's time or not is by going to the hospital. So if you're past 37 weeks, go in if you're having um, contractions every three to five minutes and they're painful enough that they take your breath away and you have to breathe through them. Also go in though if you start to leak any fluid that makes you suspect your water's broken, if you have any vaginal bleeding, or if you're not feeling your baby move as much as usual. And um, actually the guideline is that you should feel your baby move at least six times an hour, even while you're contracting. So if it's, a, if it's ever less than that, for sure go to the hospital and get checked out. I hope the very best for you during the rest of your pregnancy and during your labor and delivery. And if you have any other questions for me in the future, Feel free to ask them on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash intermountain moms and recommend us to your friends and family too.